हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1131 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू नेचुरल इंटेलिजेंस एंड लेटर ऑन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सो एट मोमेंट माय इंटरेस्ट इज दैट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड what is natural intelligence for all of us for every animal not only human being and once i say intelligence we should know what is the meaning of intelligence as you know uh, every child is born without any intelligence it is zero as a infant and they start get intelligence slowly once they are growing for example infant once he or she is born will not know anything no intelligence only that infant will know if there is some cold or hot that is called feeling only emotion is there and if you remember my at least more than one dozen lectures are on neurochemistry of infant of child and the parenting so already in those lectures i have given the explanation that when child is uh, born uh, that child is having we all know there are two type of brain one is called emotional brain other one is called that is frontal lobe brain that is with reasoning and thinking and child is born without reasoning and thinking he knows only emotion he goes by emotion because in his brain there are uh, billions of neuron cells but all the neuron cells they are not connected very well neuron connectivity is not there and with a time and age the neuron connectivity will start and then he will start developing the uh, intelligence i have already discussed a lot uh, so i am not going in detail to discuss this thing but at least we should know that child is born with emotion and slowly intelligence is cultivated and that intelligence is the ability of the child slowly to understand surrounding circumstances environment that is called intelligence of a child so i have already told you that when child is born he can only feel the heart pulse of feelings will be there emotion will be there he will cry if there is uh, some pinch or some pain he will only understand the hot touch or cold touch slowly after few months he will start recognizing the voice of the mother then the music the object all those things he will be having ability to understand more and more and that is called intelligence and this intelligence is not only limited to human being the animals are also intelligent with time they get the ability and in 1983 one american psychologist he mentioned there are nine type of intelligence what every human being you should develop the intelligence of music the intelligence of mathematics the intelligence of spiritual values the intelligence of uh, religious values the ability to perform to understand 
different uh, skills. So with that different skills, that person is intelligent in that area. That, that's why the uh, intelligence is not only that you just go and get uh, 95 or 98 percent marks in exam. That is because of your hard work and because of your uh, lot of time given for learning, training, that is bringing the marks. But intelligence means it is overall understanding of the circumstances, overall ability how to come across different type of situation and then finally decision making. That's why when child is in teenage, people will say, elderly people, that Mr. X will not be having good decision making because decision making is on collective ability to understand different situation. That determines the intelligence. So here I am going to give one by uh, one. So here I have given some points and that is going to determine someone's intelligence. So intelligence is some total of your ability, how to handle the situation, how to live in this world, how to interact with nature, with humans, with other animals, with environment. That is going to determine your intelligence. So here, what is intelligence? First question is, it is ability to understand. Very clear. If you don't have to ability to understand, either your parents, your society, your country, your nature, your environment, you are not intelligent. So it is the ability of human being and even animals to understand the situation, circumstances that I will be discussing later on, the animal intelligence and smartness. So it is the ability to understand and distinguish things, object, feelings, applying knowledge and skills. Applying skills, different type of skill is intelligence. Somebody is having very good skill of music singing. He is intelligent in uh, uh, singing, in art, in music. Somebody who is applying his skill in science discovery. He is very much intelligent in scientific knowledge and that is his skill. So his skill is also the part of your intelligence in various domains, circumstances. A. Newly born baby I have already told you, newly born baby is zero in intelligence in terms of reasoning and thinking, but he has emotional feeling because his brain, neuron cells are there. They are not well connected with uh, each other. And uh, that's why actually if I say uh, a baby, so a uh, baby, if suppose uh, he is having this, so his this frontal is front 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 side is your and this side is center that is called emotion, emotional brain and this is called uh, reasoning thinking brain. So here, all these neuron cells, they are like this. They are not connected and with time, these neuron cells, they will form networking and they will be connected. The more you, you will see, you more you will interact, more you will read and learn. There will be lot of connectivity, networking of lot of neuron cells. That is actually, is called, uh, that is natural. Uh, Neuron networking. There is difference in artificial and natural. I am talking at moment of natural. Later on I will shift to artificial. That's why this my lecture is for all the students 
who are undergraduate, even if they are in secondary school or primary school, they first should understand the meaning of natural intelligence and more specifically what is intelligence. It is ability of understanding of different situation, different condition, different values, nature, mountain, uh, human beings, animals and to distinguish, to identify, to understand all behavior. That is called intelligence. So A is newly born baby understands only feeling of the cold and hot. That's all. Dark and light. B. When the same baby grow, he will understand sound, pictures, objects and music and he will understand the voice of his or her mother. That is his intelligence started <coughs> coming, growing with time, with age. Then number C. It is the ability to under, interact with the world. Then the child will be having the ability to interact with world and that is called nature, humans and other animals. So uh, after, I mean in third stage, now he will get the ability of understanding of what? Nature. Nature includes human beings, animals, plants, all that is called nature. So that is the third condition and then next one is that is reasoning and thinking. After that then his frontal brain will start uh, working by the neuron connectivity it will be developing and then slowly he will start reasoning and thinking. He will ask a lot of questions around him or her from his or her parents. Curiosity, creativity is all the intelligence will uh, work. So reasoning and thinking means it is the capacity of learning, recognizing objects, images, etc. Then E application of knowledge. Then he will start applying the knowledge, whatever he has acquired from his surrounding, from his environmental uh, condition, experience, ability to take action and to take decision. So to take action and decision is mature only when he is intelligent enough, mature enough to have reasoning and thinking where he can understand, he has the ability to understand very well. Only then he can take action and then there will be decision uh, making. So here, I'm going to discuss in a very simple language for everybody, the important role of intelligence in our day-to-day -day lives is a very, very important. Unless we are intelligent, we have enough ability to understand, we cannot survive. That is called cleverness and smartness. And it goes to animals as well as human beings. So here, Intelligence plays a very important role in our lives. Even many animals have shown to use intelligence to solve their problems. A. Great use of smartness. Smartness, using of your smartness, presence of mind, what we call it, is also intelligence. It is the form of intelligence. We know which tools will be useful in a situation. So, it is intelligence to understand what type of tool is required 
at any given moment for example if you are going to cut uh, the cloth so to cutting the cloth you cannot use axe you cannot use the knife only scissor so it is intelligence who will guide you to make you to understand that scissor is proper tool of cutting the cloth if you are going to cut the tree you cannot cut with knife you cannot cut with scissor there it is to understand what type of tool is required for that purpose is x only x can cut the tree and if in case you are going to cut the watermelon watermelon you cannot cut with x watermelon you cannot cut with scissor you need knife so all these three tools he knows very well is because of his intelligence because of his ability to understand different tools for different purpose that's why in artificial intelligence also there are different type of language tools used for different purpose that is also a type of different intelligence that is in artificial that i will be discussing when i am coming to that uh, part now b smartness of a crow where a crow used people that is small pieces of stones to increase the level of water actually this uh, image is very popular on google i have got from google and i will show you one crow was thirsty and he wanted to drink the water when he went to one pitcher in that pitcher the level of water was down it was not possible for crow to get the water so what he did around that pitcher there were even piece of paper piece of wood piece of leaf and piece of stone so selectively he picked small pieces of stone because he is knowing the archimedes principle there that the stone is heavy solid and it will go down and level of water will increase so he started picking selectively the pieces of stone and went on dropping inside the pot that pitcher and then water level started increasing and finally he got the water to drink that this image and story on google is very famous worldwide for children to understand that even the birds the animals they have the intelligence the second story is the rabbit and lion a lion and rabbit story is a story of a rabbit saves its life uh, by taking the lion to a pond to show the false image and his intelligence all over mighty power of the lion and his life was saved the reason is that that rabbit he could not escape he just ran to pond side so he saw the water and when the lion saw the image he became very angry because he thought that that image is his enemy lion and he jumped in that pond and he lost his focus and rabbit escaped so these two images i am going to show you now you can see this image where crow is sitting and bringing the stone and dropping inside the uh, pot to increase the level of water now in this image of crow you can see that he has dropped the enough uh, stone pieces and now level of water is increased and he can drink the water now i am showing the image of the rabbit and the lion and lion has seen the his uh, image in the water and then he jumped there and rabbit could escape <laughs> And then come to human intelligence. 
human intelligence is also very very important today in the form of different skills and that can bring billions i will give the example of ronaldo footballer at moment he is earning billions of dollar and is only because of his one thing that is skill that mind and physical action the coordination coordination of his mind and physical action is making him highly skilled intelligent footballer that is intelligence the skill so what two coordination are very much accurate one is his mind and second is his physical action is all intelligence now i am giving one example here if suppose some one man is locked in one house and he has three doors to escape from that house one door that of poisonous scorpion are there and once he is coming he is going to face thousands of scorpions they are going and they can jump and they can bite the second option is second door there are doors second door is lot of poisonous spiders and spiders they are so much dangerous because of their venom that even if they bite he may die the third one is that is millions of microscopic invisible corona virus so if he is going to escape from this house and he has to understand he should have ability to understand that is called intelligence that from which door his survival will be more where he can escape without much harm and danger so if he is not intelligent he will select three one there nothing is there i cannot see anything is all invisible is very clear door but it is written that there are millions of corona virus hanging around the door and once he is passing he will get the immediately covid 19 disease so he is a big sufferer the other one option is where lot of poisonous spiders the spiders are hanging in their webs they can jump and you cannot uh, fight with hand and uh, with shoe because they can go to any side to back side so that is more risky the third best option is that is your door where lot of scorpions are moving on the ground you are having shoe so you can crush them and you can pass very nicely so if one is intelligent who can and who has the ability to understand the situation very well immediately he can run to door number 1 and he can crush all the uh, poisonous scorpion which are moving on the ground and he will go safely so that is i mean the human intelligence the second example i am going to give that one god was there that is a swimming pool that is life saving god always on every swimming pool there are some life saving god that if any emergency comes that god can help the god found one watch he got one watch he bought got one watch side by swimming pool and he announced that please i have got one missing watch side by swimming pool the anyone who has lost the watch should approach me so in that case three people came a B and C. 
C. Three people approached A, B, and C, and they claim that I have lost the watch. So that guard, swimming guard, life guard, he saw that one man is blind. He has no eye. He is blind. He refused. He said, blind man doesn't need what. What he is saying that he lost the what he is telling lie. Then he cried to B and C. C1 was holding what football. And then he called him. He saw his wrist. And there was no any sign of that is uh, tint of watch. Anybody who is keeping the watch, there will be some slight image and tint of the watch. And then he uh, did not agree with that. See, and he found in B that he was having that is uh, tint of watch. And then he gave to him uh, that this watch belongs to this man because I have seen on his wrist there is some impression of the watch. So that is called intelligence. Because three people are claiming and you have to select by your ability to understand this situation that who is telling lie. Blind cannot have. That is understanding of the situation. Cannot have watch. It's useless for him. The one who is claiming is not having any indication on their uh, wrist. And the third one was having some impression of the watch and then he gave him and it was correct. So these are all the human intelligence. So in the uh, next lecture I will be discussing more. So here I will stop and in the next lecture I will continue and there again I am going to discuss uh, the latest uh, update on the type of intelligence is a type because of the type of skills and that skill is going to determine your intelligence. Actually my uh, own uh, understanding and definition for intelligence is that what I have gone through I am sharing my experience that anybody who has ability and capacity to take pain from all around, from nature, from society, from family members, and still he can continue his normal work, he is intelligent. But anyway, the definition of what it is given by the collective uh, research is the ability to understand uh, the surrounding conditions, object, skills, that is called intelligence. So with this I will stop. Thank you very much for watching the lecture.